Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a good day. Hope you all enjoyed my last video of the Bismarck and unboxing that. If you want to see that, that'll just be up in this corner up here. So, this time we've got a 135th scale King Tiger by Tacom. This does have the full interior in it as well. Um, <clears throat> it says real armor thickness. Well, we'll find out today. And it also comes without Zimmerit, but you can sort of create your own Zimmerit. Um, I've done it. Um, you can use Realist. Most people use Tamiya Party for it. Um, you can use Revel Party for it. Um, I basically use an entire tube on a Tiger 1 or 1 16th. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about this lovely King Tiger. So the King Tiger was a late World War II tank. Um, sort of, you could kind of say it was the successor to the Tiger One. But overall, the tank was pretty beastly in its own right. So if we start off with our holes so here we've got our lower hole which as you can see does have all the slots for loads and loads of pieces the molding is lovely you can kind of see on the bottom there sort of where them grooves are You've also got some world beads going along the bottom. Now, you can actually carve these out, your own world beads in, if that is what you do. I'm more of whatever is in the box, that's kind of what I'll use. Um, I've never sort of dwelled into like getting the metal barrels and everything like that, unlike with the 116 pound for, which already comes with that. But overall, that's pretty nice. And then we've also got some little bits on the side there in the holes, which will help you sort of guide you to where your arms need to go off of the torsion bars. And the upper hole, again, got some lovely detail on there. We've even got the teeth in the turret ring, which is lovely because I know with most kits, you have to add the turret ring. And it's also nice. So I've technically already built one of these kits. But I've built it in the sense of I didn't have the interior. I just had the tank itself. All the exterior stuff. Um, which was a Das Verk tank. But it's a very box of a tack on. Which if you want to get one of them. And you only want the exterior. That's probably a cheaper way to go. And to be honest, it is a great kit, hence why I went and got the one with the full interior. So, let's delve a little bit deeper. So, already with this sheet that, well, this sprue that sort of greets us straight away, looks like a lot of the engine components. And we've also got our sort of mid wall. I don't know what you'd technically call that. Um, but that sort of separates <clears throat> where the engine would be sort of back here. You've sort of got that wall that just kind of sits there. I think it's like a fire protection wall. But it keeps the engine a lot more separate from where, where the rest of the crew and all your ammunition would be. And then we've got some inner wall pe uh, inner pieces for sort of more armour. And it also looks like we've got, yeah, no, it just looks like all engine pieces on that one. So this one's sort of like a two, oh my God. If I can actually pick it up. <laughs> no, not gonna come up, there we go. Right, let's push that down a little bit. Let's actually put that the way it should be. So here we've got some hatches, we've got our coupler. Or command, I can never re quite remember the name of the sort of like commander's hatch. Um, then we've sort of got some more 
some exterior pieces like here. We've got our jacks. We've sort of got some of our tools, our um, tow rope or tow steel. And then it looks like we've got some interior pieces as well. That's lovely detailed. Ah, here we go. So here we've got, so this will sort of be like the floor of where the turret basket will sit. Then we've got our, some lovely detailed um, interior components, which is, this is where the torsion bars will go through. And this will sort of be like that inner wall kind of thing. I'm going to keep calling it a wall because why not? You can call it what you want. I'm going to call it a wheel. A, a, a wheel? Oh my God. <laughs> I meant wall, not wheel. By all means, go right ahead. Berate me. Um, we've also got sort of like a torsion bar setting piece, which is also a lovely addition. I remember the amount of hassle I had with the 116 Panther and that you had to put, <clears throat> you had to put uh, the torsion bars in, then sort of bring them in, then put them through the actual lower hole itself and then put all of it into place. And if you've done a tank with full interior, you know, especially with German tank, you know how stressful the torsion bars can be. Anywho. Anywho, so again, more interior pieces. Um, actually, really lovely detailed. Extremely lovely detailed, and I do love a detailed kit. So we've got some hoses, which look like they could go onto the engine. We've got a drive shaft there, which come off of the engine. I'm not seeing anything at the moment that could resemble sort of like the transmission, but we'll probably find that later on. So here we're, we've sort of got some turret pieces. We've got our breech. We have sort of where a basket would sit for the um, ejected shells. Um, we've got sort of like a little hatch there as well. Well, it looks like the inside of a hatch. So you could build this tank in one of two ways. You could build it as, you know, you've got the hatches open, but you could also keep it all closed and just sort of like um, raise all, like raise the turret up, have that sitting on a, a couple of um, like sprue pieces. And then you could do the same with the lower, uh, the upper hole, you could just lift that up. So you can see all the interior detail. Here we've got our turret. And um, just get that out for you. So this is quite nice. Um, don't have to completely build the turret. It is connected already. So it means we don't have to worry about trying to fight these two side parts with the front part where the gun mount will be or is. All we have to worry about is gluing on that rear piece, which is really nice. I hate fighting with turrets when you have to build them. <clears throat> Here we've got some of our um, our periscopes. Almost forgot what the name was. Yeah, so we've got some of our periscopes there, and obviously these will go into their respective spots. And then here it looks like we've got our fans. We've got probably more interior pieces, and we've got two sheets of them, which is. Lovely. And then we've sort of got our gun mantlet for the front. Well, the outer gun mantlet. Again, I can't quite remember the name. We've got our rear armour piece. And we they also kind of looks like some turret pieces mixed into there as well. We've got our frontal MG cart bar as well. But all in all, so far, looking like a really lovely detailed kit. Uh, and then everybody's favourite, link and length tracks. Now, if you're like me and you hate these, you can get away with this with the King Tiger. Um, you can sort of just build up half of the track 
and you can leave it like that. I did, I've done that to a couple of models now. Um, I've done it to the Dasverk Rebox of the King Tiger. I've also done it to the um, Tacom Mark V Chieftain as well. So you don't have to build the entirety of the tracks. Um, but if you are the type of person that wants to build all the tracks, go right ahead. You've got two sheets and both sheets. So one sheet will be for one side, the other sheet will be for the other side. I personally probably won't. I'll probably just build up half of them just so they get around the sprocket and the idler. And that's how I'm going to leave them probably. <clears throat> so here we start to get to our exterior pieces. So we've got our side skirts, we've got our um, vents for the outside, we've got our engine cover, we've got our drivers and radioman hatch. Well, um, missing piece on the, on the upper hull, so we'll just have to put the hatches in. We've also got our cases as well, mud flaps, our, trans, um, our transmission covers, and our frontal armour, which is also where the MG will sit. And we've got some more tow ropes. We've got insides. Oh no, we've got our hatches. We've got our exhaust covers, which there are two options. So you can go with either or, which I always love. I love that. And more turret pieces. So here we've got our gun. Uh, by the looks of it, we have two different options that we can go for, which I do love. I do love having options. We've also got some vent um, covers, but these will have photo etch put into them. We've got our turret, well, the lower part of our turret and our turret ring with a fair bit of detail. That is, that's lovely. Then we've got the top of our turret. Um, and a piece that's already fallen off, so I will be careful handling this. <clears throat> We've got our extra bits. These two will basically just keep the engine in place, and then you've got the other places um, for your sort of radiators and your fans and your fuel tanks, which I believe are these. These will be the fuel tanks. Again, a couple of engine parts. More armor. Um, yeah, so all in all, lovely, lovely bit of detail on that. And our sprockets, idler, and road wheels. So, luckily enough, <clears throat> with this, the King Tiger had full metal road wheels, didn't have any type of rubber on it. I believe, let me just confirm with a box. Yep, by the looks of it, they were full metal. So, don't have to paint any type of black or rubber onto the road wheels, which is kind of a lifesaver, because I hate doing that. It takes so long, but makes the model does make the model look more authentic. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, we've got our sprockets, our idlers, and our normal road wheels and we do also have our torsion bars and our swing arms we do also have our hooks <clears throat> and i believe that is a hacksaw i could be wrong oh and if you don't like little parts look away now because the carbon monster is going to come back for revenge we have these little pieces here which i believe is to hold tracks or um like spare tracks onto the side of the turret and here, oh, here we've got some of our ammunition. We've got the bottom of our turret basket. I mean, you guys are probably going to know a lot more about this than I will. Um, I just kind of like looking at the outside of tanks and going, oh, nice. Um, and this is my second or third Full interior tank. I haven't quite finished the first one yet. But there will be an update of that coming out soon. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we've got our ammunition. 
and at uh, the bottom of our turret basket. Obviously, you guys will know a lot more. And we have more ammunition. <laughs> and, um, yeah, some arm, some extra armor, I'm going to guess. And it just looks like all stuff to make the interior look lovely. So, also, with this kit, you do get these, which is um, sort of like track building. So you'd put your sprocket there, your idler there, and then you can build up your track around that, which is handy. I already have a set of these. Um, I kind of ended up going away from them a little bit. But if you are new, these are pretty good to use. Um, they are a bit, well... When I used them, I probably used did it really complicated, but you could, in theory, um, just use these. I personally probably won't, but they are a good thing to have because it does add all in add to all of the authenticness with how the track, how the tracks would sit. So these are very good, and if you end up getting another King Tiger in one thirty fifth and you have to build the tracks, you could probably just use these again. So, luckily enough, they do have, they serve a multi-use, which is great. <clears throat> but, now, on to the instructions. So, I do have to say, what I like about TACOM stuff, is they do, if there's anything that's incorrect, they do add in a correction sheet. So, pretty much all, all you'll do is you'll cut it out. Put it onto the actual model itself, and then you can um, work it out like that, which is always pretty nice, you know, if there is a mistake in there. Okay, so we have our photo etch event covers, which, if you hate photo etch, there's that, but there is also. And this is the part that I'm probably going to struggle with. <clears throat> All of them are the caps for the ammunition. So if you if you really want to count how many are there, pause the video. I'll bring them up as close as possible. Pause the video and count how many are there. And let me know in the comments below how many are there. Because I'm not sitting here and counting them. Not sure where most of the photo edge is going to sit. So, I mean, it's still less photo edge than was on the 116. Okay, we have two decal sheets. So we've got our exterior decal sheet, which we have quite a few numbers to go with. Not sure which tank I'm going to build yet. And, of course, we have our interior sheet which looks like there is two no nope, just one so we have all of the descriptions that will be going on to the ammunition we've got our dials we've got our first aid yeah the, it, i hate decals at the best of times this kid's just not going to make me rage even more with decals <laughs> the amount of decals on this on this thing is just amazing but it's a full interior so i wouldn't expect nothing less so now for the instructions so as usual with most model kits you'll have a parts sheet which is always handy because then if you're missing something you can just contact the the, um, the local supplier for the kits or distributor and they can sometimes help help you out with it so straight away already number one building the tracks so let's just pop on the other line so just so you can see this a bit better if i have it set oh, i haven't got a little light set up my bad um but yeah so straight away you're building the tracks which is always fun, but it does see, so it does tell you how to use the equipment. 
that I showed you. Although it kind of looks like that this should be one and two. Because <laughs> um, that's kind of jumping ahead. So I'm not quite sure how you'll be able to um, make them without doing all of this work first. So once you've got your torsion bars in, and at this stage, I'm going to say it probably goes over to where the wheels are. Yep. Then you've got your wheels. Then you can actually go and do your tracks. They've done it a little bit backwards, but good old fashioned. Who wouldn't expect a model company to go a little bit backwards? Now, they do, there is a lot of sections to this, but you do have arrows leading to where, what goes where. Kind of picked a bad example with over here, but here, sort of, you build it up, then you go over, then you do these two, then you go over. And then you've got sort of stuff like this. So you've got it telling you what to do. So you build that first, then you go down to that. Then that's when you actually put it on. So there's, there's them um, bits of armor that I told you about, or the dividers. And that's also where I told you where the other divider goes as well, where it sort of sits between where the crew and ammunition will be and the engine. And then the engine will just slot into there, covering some, oh, don't mind them. That's for another project. And then what do we have here? Yep, so we've got sort of like a little floor piece. I say it's a floor piece, it's more like a divider piece. And that's where sort of everything else will sit on. And then, <clears throat> Keeping with the rear of the tank, we're sort of building up everything else around the engine. And then we sort of start coming sort of further down the tank. So we've now got sort of like this little piece here. Then we've got the floor, which will just sit in here. And then we're starting to put the ammunition in. More ammunition. <laughs> and then we sort of start to build up on the upper hull. While I keep taking stuff from another model that I'm building. Oh, excuse me. So, now we're sort of seeing the extra armour going on. So this could be real thickness. I'm not going to say it is, and I'm not going to say it's not, because as you've seen, I haven't built this kit yet. But if it's anything compared to the last one, then it should be really, really nice, just with that extra detail inside. So, and then we start putting the upper hole onto the lower hole which means we actually lose access to all of that detail. And this is what I was saying. You could, in theory, do it so that all this is still detached, so you can just lift it up and you can show all the detail inside. Or you can sort of build like little, um, little sticks up and just put the upper hole on that, glue it on, and then do the same with the turret so you don't lose any of that detail. And then we're sort of building up the rear armour. While also putting our transmission covers on. Not the transmission covers, they're armour pieces that go on there. And sort of building up more of the back wall, uh, rear armour piece. Which was also putting into the... Um, Exhausts and our exhaust covers. My bad. I got the completely wrong. These are all the exhaust covers. They are for two separate sides. <clears throat> and now we come on to the fun piece of the turret. So as I was saying before, with this turret and that sheet that I showed you, this one, this is where this sheet will start to come into play. Um. 
So this will start sort of giving you your guidance to where all these tracks need to go. But it does look like so. Look right. So this um, you can you can build it so that they're either open or closed. It is completely optional. It is completely up to you on how you build it. I will probably build it so they're open, which means I need to do some weathering on the inside. And then we start building up all the stuff for the turret basket. Getting in some more ammunition into the turret because they did also store. So all this back piece here would have been filled with ammunition. And then we're building our breach. And then we are getting the gun together and putting the breach in, getting the breach done with the basket. And then getting the turret back on. So extra armor pieces around the ammunition, which you always want armor around your ammunition. You don't want that exploding on you. Getting everything sort of on there with the gun mountlet and either one of the guns. Then we've got our fighter wedge for the vents. And then the turret goes on. And these are the designs that we have. So we've got the first company, Normandy 1944. We've got France in 44. And we have the Hungary, the Hungary 1945. So I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna go for. I'm feeling more of the um more of the France in 1944 but i also kind of want to do the normandy so i don't know you guys let me know down below which one of these two you prefer right, whether you prefer the 1944 normandy or the french 1944 and um yeah, so let me know which one of them. I would do that one, but I'm not painting an entire tank white. One, because my weathering skills would just look absolutely terrible on that. Whereas on these ones, it wouldn't look so bad because it would be hidden by colour. Um, so yeah, so let me know which one of these ones you'd like to see. Um, also... <clears throat> Let me know down below if you want to see, um, if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't know this. Um, but if you're older to the channel, then you will. If you want to see like the old videos where I did the building and then I did the painting, let me know if you want to see that again. And let me know if you want to see a part series on the Bismarck where I build it in detail um and sort of follow along with the build usually i go and do it on twitch so what i might do is i'll is i might stream on twitch and then put the footage up on here or i might just go straight and put the footage up on here i don't know i haven't decided you guys let me know what you want to see um i do have update videos of current builds coming out um i'm just sort of in the middle of filming that now um but yeah, so if you have enjoyed and you want to pick this kit up, this kit is in most retail shops. I say retail shops, online shops. Um, there's quite a few places that do supply these. Um, the one where I went to get it is 135 scale and that was pretty good, pretty reliable. I've bought quite a few, uh, a few models from there now. But yeah, guys, so if you've enjoyed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I mean, it is free. Hit that little bell icon so you're up, so you get notifications when I upload. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you for sticking around. Go check out my last video or maybe check out another video. Who knows? You might find something that you like and enjoy. Anyway, on that note, I'll see you guys later. Peace.